Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am your host, Vortex, from MobileMusicPro.com, your home for mobile music production. And if you are new to the channel, what we do here is create weekly videos teaching people how to produce music. Our goal here is to get as many people producing music as possible, and the easiest, most accessible way to start making music is on your iOS device. So if you do want to help us out on our mission, make sure to smash those likes, subscribe, and share out the show. Now in today's video, we're going to be giving you our top 5 picks for the best AUV3 instruments of 2020. Now we say instruments because we're actually including things like romplers and drum machines in addition to just synthesizers. Now despite this year being a pretty crazy a year, it actually ended up being no more difficult to judge these apps than it was any other year. There were just so many fantastic releases this year that it really was hard to choose, but we think we narrowed it down as best we can. But hey, just a reminder folks, this is only our top 5 picks, and we're super excited to hear what yours are, so make sure you leave those in the comments below. And also, don't forget about our recent top 5 list video we just released last week, where we give you our top 5 picks for the best AUV3 effects of 2020. And of course, we'll make sure to link that down in the description below. Alright, now with that intro aside, let's get right into showing you our top 5 picks for the best AUV3 instruments of 2020. All right, hello and welcome everybody. We are wishing you the happiest of the happiest from Mobile Music Pro to wherever you guys are in the world. And we just wanted to offer a quick and brief disclaimer that this particular video is not a tutorial video where we're going to be showing you how to use any of these apps. But we did want to quickly explain them in a brief overview and show you why we think they're so special. Now, none of these apps are in any particular order, and in fact, if any app ever makes one of our top lists, you can rest assured that they're all number one in our book. And remember again, folks, that these are just our top five picks, so make sure to leave yours in the comments below. All right, now let's go ahead and get started with our very first app. And the first app on our top five list today is Agonizer by Kai Aris, or otherwise known as Numerical Audio, and by Jacob Hack of the Hack Attack YouTube channel. Now currently this app is on sale for $10 where normally it's actually $20. So definitely make sure you take advantage of this holiday deal. Now Agonizer is an AUV3 compatible monophonic synthesizer designed in collaboration with the YouTuber and synth bass expert Jacob Hack of Hack Attack and features over 140 fine-tuned factory presets designed by Jacob himself. Now we do have the app pulled up here inside of Cubasis as an AUV3 app. And we can go ahead and full screen this to make it bigger so everybody can see. Now right off the bat, there just is so many great things to love about this app, folks. So let's just go over a couple real quick before we get into some sound demos. Now the first thing is the graphical user interface. It is absolutely beautiful. Now personally, I love and enjoy the skeuomorphism type of design. This is the type of design that Apple went with early on, where they use textures and 3D objects to make the interfaces look real and like they're coming right at you. So right away we can see things like broken glass, and these textures over here that have dust on them to represent wear and tear in the real instrument. And again, you'll notice some of those tears over here on the far left-hand side of the design, really making this instrument look like it's been used a lot. Now, in addition to that, Agonizer makes routing everything in here super, super easy. You can just tap on the route button and see all of the different objects that you can route to immediately, or you can just long tap on any one of these controls. We'll just go ahead and long tap on the filter, and then you'll immediately see the modulation sources pop up easily allowing you to choose any one of these options right away. And then you can tap on done to close that window. Now one of the main draws to this synth here is the Wobulator. And this sort of acts like a step sequencer for different waveforms. And we'll get more into this when we show you some of the presets taking advantage of this. And that brings us to our next amazing feature, which is the sheer huge amount of presets created by Jacob Hack himself. So to bring those up, we tap on the browse button here. And what's really great is Jacob has created some template presets to get you started. So for example, if you wanted to go ahead and start creating a kick drum or a snare drum, you can just tap on either one of these presets here. Now we actually started out on the init preset here, but what's really great is Jacob has included a wobulator preset to get you started with that feature. So before we browse some of the amazing presets, let's go ahead and tap on that and see the wobulator in action. So we'll tap browse one more time to get out of the preset browser. And let's go ahead and get the headphones on here. Now what I'm going to do here is just hold down one key, and what I want you to notice is the step sequence here inside of the Wobulator. So let's go ahead and hold down a note. Let's hold down C. You 
can see that as you hold down the note, the app sequences through these different waveforms. Again, everything is super accessible and really quick to access right here inside of this Wobulator interface. Now let's go ahead and go through a few of these presets. So let's tap on Browse. And what I want to draw your attention to is the Creamy section, as this is my personal favorite section. So let's just hear what some of these sound like. So again, you'll have a bunch of different categories here, including lead and pad and pluck and drum sounds as well. A very versatile synth, allowing you to create both bass sounds and drum sounds. So that was our quick walkthrough of Agonizer, folks. We hope you enjoyed that. Again, this app is really, really amazing. We wish we could spend more time with all of these, but we do have to keep the video short. And the second app on our top five list today is going to be the Bass 808 Synth by AudioKit Pro. Now this is a limited edition app, and in fact it's their very first limited edition app, where it normally goes for $3.99, but once the actual time period has expired, it will go up to $99. Now they do offer holiday sales where they bring that $99 price tag back down to its original price tag around $3.99. So if you don't have the app just yet, make sure to look out for those sales. Now the Bass 808 Synth is the perfect app for earth-shaking sub bass lines and creating your own custom electronic drums. It's the ultimate tool for creating your own 808 kick basses. Now we do have the app pulled up here inside of Cubasis 3. And we can't really make it any larger as the text doesn't quite scale there, it just stays the same no matter the size that you have of the window. But that's alright, we'll just keep this small for now. Now this app, like a lot of AudioKit apps, are very very simple in that there's usually only one or two interfaces. Here you can see that we're on the main interface, as the main button over here is lit up, and we can tap on the more tab which will bring up the second interface here. The first tab, which is the main tab, consists of a master volume, length, modulation dials such as depth and time, a glide dial, a distort option, and finally a really cool super sustain button. You'll find yourself using this button and enabling it whenever you want to create 808s. Now moving along to the second screen here, you can see we have our tuning knobs and our envelope knobs which consist of attack and release. We have a bit crusher here, a filter, and finally a limiter here on the far right hand side of the app. Now just like the description said, you can really easily create a bunch of different sounds in here, including different types of bass drums and 808s. So what we're going to do here is just go through a few of these presets so you can hear what this app sounds like. So let's tap on our preset browser here, which is right in the center of the app. And before we choose a new preset, let's hear what the default preset sounds like. All right, beautiful. Let's hear a couple more of these presets. Yeah, a lot of these are going to be pretty loud, guys, so we might have to fix that in post, but that's all right. Let's hear a couple more. So as you can see folks, just a ton of great presets in here to get you going right away. This app being super purpose built just for 808s, basses, and drum sounds. We found that using this app really saves time compared to picking out a bunch of 808 samples and putting that in a sampler. And this also uses much less resources as well. So if you get a chance, make sure to check out the Bass 808 synth from AudioKit Pro.
Alright, now the next app that we'll be talking about today is Drum Computer by Sugarbytes. Now the app is free to download, but the full version will come in an in-app purchase for $24.99. This will unlock a bunch of new presets and the ability to use it in AUV3 mode. Now, Drum Computer is the new specialist for synthetic drums, combining classic and modern synthesis with flexible modulations and luxurious sequencing, intelligent randomizers, elegant pattern editing, and you can import a bunch of your own samples to create some mind-blowing possibilities. Now we do have the app pulled up here, and we have it pulled up in standalone mode. Now this app may look complex at first, as it just has a ton of different controls here all at once, but rest assured it really isn't that complex, and we'll break it down for you right now. So what you really want to pay attention to here is this line of controls right here. This is where you'll access all of the different screens inside of this app. When accessing these different screens, the only thing that really changes is the top half of the screen, where the bottom half here, the mixer, stays the same. So you can access all eight of the different drums by simply tapping on the number buttons here. As you can see, each one of these will have its own settings. And is nicely color coded so you know exactly which drum you're working with right now. Now after tapping through all of the different drums, we have the kit button and the sequencer button. Now these two buttons are very important, so let's tap on the kit and you can see that this will bring up additional settings for each one of your drums, including the pitch, decay, and the actual drum algorithm. Now this app comes with a bunch of different algorithms, literally one for each type of drum, including things like the kick, snare, clap, percussion, hat, cymbal, and a synth sound. Now to the right of the kit button here, we have our sequencer button. Now this of course is pretty self-explanatory, but there's some really, really cool features in here. One of the features is the humanize button which adds additional spacing in between your notes, making sure that they really do sound more human. Now there's no way we can go through all of the different features in this video, but again, we did want to show you why we find this app so special. And one of those main reasons is the random function. Inside of this app, you can randomize just about anything, including the entire kit. So to do that, you simply tap on the make kit button at the top. So let's quickly hit play on this pattern and start going through a couple of these randomly generated kits. So let's hit play. Alright, very cool. Now let's go ahead and randomize this pattern. So to do that, we'll just tap on this dice button here. And as you can see here, it generated a new pattern. So let's hit play and keep generating a few of these patterns. As you can see, there really is a full-blown sequencer in here, allowing you to adjust the volume of each one of these notes, as well as the probability, a bunch of different rolls, and of course the pitch and the mod, there's just endless amount of options in here, guys. And of course, you can always randomize all those by tapping on the random button here. So again, there's just so many features in here, it's really hard to cover them all in just a short amount of time, but we do hope that what we've shown you was compelling enough for you to check out this app. And the next app that we'll be talking about today is Chompler by MS-13 Sound Design, currently available for $4.99. Now the Chompler name is taken from the two words Rompler and Chopping, inspired by the timeless workflow of creating music using samples to make new works. Chompler brings a new iOS approach to creative sample manipulation as a standalone module or an AUV3 plugin. Chompler offers quick access to its robust sample library and an online store built right in. Now we do have the app pulled up here, as you can see, folks. Now, as you can see, we have a very clean interface here for this app. We have all of our effects on the far right-hand side, including things like lo-fi, drive, echo, reverb, flange, low-pass, high-pass, and more. 
And in the center, we have the ability to modify our sample here. We can, for example, choose where it starts and where it ends. So if we choose the Start button here, we can move the data slider up and down, selecting where we'd like this sample to begin. And just the same, we can tap on End, and we can choose where we'd like this sample to end. And beyond that, we have a few standard controls that you'll find in any sampler, such as the ability to modify the attack and release, and even set the key that the sample is in. Now what's really great about this app is not everybody has access to a bunch of different records to sample. And if you're really going for that lo-fi or hip-hop sound, you'll find that the mini presets in this app are suited just towards that. So we can check out our store by tapping on the shop button here. And this will bring you to their store where you can choose from a number of different samples to purchase. Now it already comes with a bunch of samples, but as you can see here, there's plenty more to satisfy pretty much any type of production that you'll need. Now let's browse through a couple of these presets. We'll tap on the menu on the far left hand side. As you can see here, we have samples for drums and percussion, melodies, synthesis, vox, and more. So let's go through a couple of these drum and percussion presets now. We'll tap on the first one that we have, and let's hit play. All right, very nice. Let's play a couple more. So as you can hear, a pretty wide variety of sounds there. Let's move on to the melodic samples and try a few in here. All right, fantastic. Let's just choose that for fun. We'll tap on that. And now you can start playing with this by simply tapping the keys on your keyboard. All right, very cool. As you can see, the possibilities really are endless for all of these loops. MS-13 is definitely known for their sound design. If you check out their website, you can see they have hundreds of sample packs. And now they're taking some of those sounds and making them available inside of the Chompler app. So whether you're looking for drums or new melodies, or just a bunch of different loops to chop up and make your own, definitely check out this app if you get a chance. And the next app on our list is GeoShred version 5 with the GeoSwam update. Now the app by itself will cost you $24.99, but this brand new update with these brand new GeoSwam instruments will cost you $74.99 if you want to buy all of them at once. Otherwise, you can buy these new instruments individually for $14.99. Now, featuring this app is kind of cheating a little bit because obviously this app did come out before this year, but really this update is so new and powerful that it completely changes the whole app. Now, GeoShred is an award-winning, fluidly expressive musical instrument that runs on multi-touch devices, and now has been updated with these world-class instruments from Audio Modeling's Swarm technology, including things like the violin, sax, cello, and more. Now, we do have the app pulled up here, as you can see. The interface is very simple to get a hold of. The vast majority of the interface here is taken up by the keys, with additional options at the top. So up here at the very top, you have things like your whammy and your vibrato depth, as well as additional settings that are actually changed per preset. So for example, some presets have a filter slider here, but this one in particular has a stiffness slider. And then we have our presets browser here on the far right hand side. Currently we have the classical acoustic guitar pulled up. Now this is one of the presets that is included with this app and we'll show you a couple more before we show you those brand new GeoSwam instruments. Now this app is well known for its expressive capability. As you can see, you can just tap on these keys and wobble your finger a little bit for vibrato. and you can slide notes up or down by moving your finger either left or right. And if you have a MIDI controller hooked up, you can play any one of these presets with that as well.
having all these notes right in front of you makes it really easy to play them pretty fast. Before we get into the new instruments, let's go ahead and check out a few more of these presets. So now as you can see we are on the Shred Lead preset as it shows in the top right hand corner. And let's see what this sounds like. Alright, now to access these new instruments, we tap the menu at the top right hand corner by tapping on those three dots. This will bring up your file menu, edit menu, and global settings menu. And what we're going to tap on is the store at the very top. Now as you can see, you can purchase the entire collection here with six different instruments for $74.99. And if you don't want to purchase them all, you can purchase them individually here, each for $14.99. Now since we can't play nearly as good as the creator, Jordan Rudis, let's go ahead and try a few of these videos. So the first one we're going to try is the violin. Let's tap play on that. Alright, very cool, let's try another one. Let's go ahead and try the flute. Alright, very cool. So, as you can hear, just super realistically sounding instruments with a bunch here to choose from. And I'm sure there'll be a lot more in the future. So we'll tap close to get out of this. Now we hope that this demonstration of this app gave you an idea or some insight into how good these instruments really are. Whether you are using the screen to input your notes or a standard classic MIDI keyboard, it really is difficult to find more realistic sounds than this, folks. And that was GeoShred, our very last app on this list. So we hope you enjoyed that, folks, and don't forget to leave your list of your top five apps in the comments below. All right, hello and welcome back everybody. We just wanted to thank you so much for watching the video this far. And say thanks again to everybody watching these premieres live to help us build out our community. We really do hope you enjoyed these picks and I really wish I could have played with these apps a bunch more, but we did have to keep the video relatively short. And please guys, we're super excited to hear what your top five picks are, so make sure to leave those in the comments below. Plus guys, we also have our brand new completely free sample pack releasing on our website on January 6th, so make sure to check out the details of that brand new sample pack at mobilemusicpro.com. This will be our second completely free sample pack that falls in line with our Essentials Pack series. All of these sample packs are completely designed for iPad first and will work with all of your favorite apps. We really do think that you guys are going to love this sample pack and we have a lot more than just that coming. So if you do want to stay up to date with everything that we're doing, make sure to check out our free mailing list at mobilemusicpro.com. And so until next time, everybody, keep talking music and we'll see you later. There was really just so many fantastic releases this year that it actually was just pretty much just, uh, God, uh. And also don't forget about our recent top uh. And also don't forget about the video that we just released last week where we gave you uh. Now we say instruments because this list actually includes uh. Now we say instruments because we actually uh, Man